Roaming King has returned to Halo 5, a 1v1 head-to-head -head play is now implemented the first time in the Halo 5 and the best way to grind out your XP to get that 152 for Arena. Stay tuned throughout the video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news update here. We're talking about some Halo 5 action here because yes, Halo 5 is still going on, still awesome. Yeah, everyone's talking about that MCC hotness. We still got Halo 5 and it's still great and we got some new updates coming for you guys right here and so in this video I'm going to talk to you guys all about that. So if you like these information videos please make sure to tap that like button, let me know you want to see some more content like this, leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the video and also if you're new to the channel stay up to date with anything Halo related like Halo Infinite or MCC or Halo 5 make sure to tap subscribe with the bell because we all know sub boxes can be kind of weird at times. So let's get right into the video here. So you may notice if you signed into Halo 5, but if you haven't, here you go. We have a return of one of my all-time favorite playlists to come into Halo 5, Roaming King. If you guys don't know what Roaming King is, basically I think of King of the Hill, but it's continually moving throughout the entire map in a, in a repeated loop. And so it really creates some really fun, interesting gameplay. And plus almost all the maps that are on this playlist are user created in Forge. I think with Duplicate Plaza is like the only uh, vanilla map that's actually used in it but on that's almost all forge created stuff which is really great and you can tell that with the forge maps that uh, roman king really does play out the best i feel like this playlist is really just a great way to kind of jump in get some kills and play the objective and just have a lot of fun and i really enjoy this mode if you haven't had a chance to play roman king you gotta get on it because it's a lot of fun plus it's a feature playlist so you get double xp so kind of want to get on that grind and also talk about later in this video why it's so important next thing we have brand new coming into halo 5 is a brand new playlist that's never been in the game before and it's a 1v1 playlist called head to head essentially it's one player versus another you go against each other and best player wins on that situation now you would think that basic 1v1 just be first person to 15 kills or something like that like how it's traditionally played between players or anything like that Else like that but with matchmaking and the way uh, online communicate communities play uh, certain playlists it's different when it comes to ranks modes compared to just custom games with people that you may know as in basically if someone gets put down pretty low in the match they'll just go ahead and quit because they have no chance of coming back say if you start out 7-0 guy was probably just going to quit out which may lead to a not very fun experience when people keep leaving the game because obviously that's something that would certainly would be happening quite a bit but in halo 5's head to head playlist they've mixed it up quite a bit and here's how so instead of just being a straight 15 kill or whatever kill limits it actually plays in rounds best of three wins the match so to win a round you have to get five kills and then you get a win for that round and then you play the next round if you get another five kills again you win the match but say hypothetically you go five to four in the first one you win the second round you go you lose five to two you got stomped the next game but don't worry because you still have a chance to win the game because if you you know play the third round and you still have more kills grand total than anybody else than the other guy in the lobby you still win the map in 343 in their waypoint post breaks it down like this so when you win two rounds in a row the game ends as you the victor if you lose two rounds in a row the game ends and you lose basically if both of you win a round the series goes to a decisive third round it's important to note that by the end of the third and final round you will need to make sure you have more kills than the opponent does for the entire match for example after one round you lose zero to five the second round you're on the winning side five to four the enemy has nine kills while you have a grand total of five which means round three you'll need to account for a total kills in the match so winning 5-4 again won't cut it as you'd only have five, 10 kills to their 13 kills. After a round 1 and 2 scoreline above, you'd need to end 4-0 or 5-1 performance in round 3 to tie or 5-0 to win the entire match outright. So essentially, yes, it is round based, but total kills still matters. I think this gives a good opportunity for a person to have an opportunity to come back into the match without having to worry about being stomped down so hard. I think this is a great way to get around the whole fact of saying like, yeah, if you start out a match, you 9-0 somebody to start out the game, 
they're probably going to get demoralized and just quit. Well, in this way, they have a good chance of having a chance to bring it back. It kind of stops that momentum, switches sides, and so then you guys can have fully find a nice, fair, even match. And I think for matchmaking side of things, this is probably a good, or probably even the best way to go about making a 1v1 playlist. We also have a brand new power-up added into this 1v1 playlist, which has sparked a little controversy, which we will go into. But I think it's a really unique aspect of what you can accomplish in Halo 5 Forge, and let's get right into it. So it's called the Sense Power-Up. We found while playtesting this 1v1 mode that general power-ups cause too much of an advantage for another player to have. Obviously overshield, invis, or something like that, super advantageous in a 1v1 where basically you're going to be completely you know, outgunned almost every single time because of power-ups are being that powerful and they're designed more for the 4v4 experience. So Blaze from 343 thought of how do we still have power-ups because those are fun and advantageous things to pick up in the game, but that haven't be completely overpowered. Hence, we brought in the Sense Power-Up, which essentially adds in a radar for you for 20 seconds. I think this is a great addition as well, since a lot of players do tend to be a lot more passive when you have a lead in 1v1s and so then this will hopefully get people moving and get people into the action a little bit more than a lot of times what would, ha would happen say like a guy goes 4-0 up they'll probably just sit in the back and just wait for you to press the issue where if you have a radar on your side it get puts things into your favor there certainly and this power up was only possible because of the scripting aspects that you're able to do with halo 5's forge but some people found adding basically what they called it almost like a call of duty uav uh, into the game they didn't find it the most interesting way to go about adding something into a game as the one person on twitter said sounds terrible imagine big braining a simple game mode like 1v1 stop trying to reinvent the wheel laugh my ass off some people call it a uav from call of duty and some people are like wow you're adding in a radar in 1v1 what is this oh my god without actually ever playing it. Now this only does last for 20 seconds, so it doesn't last too long. And I believe it's actually the 40 meter version, so I think it's the same one they use for like Warzone or Big Team Battle, I believe, as well uses 40 meter uh, radar as well. And so I, like I said, I haven't gotten bailed, haven't had time to really dive too much into it. I played a lot of the Anthem demo this weekend, actually, but I will get into this 1v1 playlist, probably do a live stream of it as well. Uh, I think just like having a temporary radar does help kind of keep the flow of the action going. Cause that was my biggest issue when it comes to 1v1 playlists is that, uh, you know, people can be very, very passive and, and it becomes much more of a cat and mouse game rather than people trying to seek each other out, get in the actions and fight. They look of more just like, how can I bait somebody around a corner? But I think adding the round based changes and also this sense power up, I think really helps make the game mode a much more playable enjoy and enjoyable experience. And I don't think this is big braining the idea. I think this is some way to add power-ups to pick up in the game because one, it creates movement, and two, they're just fun additions to the game that can give you an advantageous part. And also I think, think it's like it's only 20 seconds and it's not gonna last that long. And I don't think it's gonna be that big of an issue because it's you know it's just like your you know your motion set. Again we just need to let the community play a little bit longer to see what the whole thing is about it and how they feel about that. And also since we do know that a lot of Halo 5 maps are designed for 4v4 in mind that they're quite large compared to previous Halo games. So you're probably thinking oh god I don't want to play like a 1v1 on like Coliseum that's gonna take forever. Well that's because they added in Forge the specifically designed Forge maps for this and I actually do recognize some of these maps and played on some of them and some of them do play very well. You can't have 1v1s on plaza yeah, for matchmaking and ranks involved with it. It'd just be so slow and boring. You can't have that. And for all you arena grinders, this is a great chance now to get your 152 if you only play arena because right now they have the arena XP boost pack right now in the store for rec packs to pick up. It drops 20 legendary XP boosts for you to use. I've spent 300,000 rec points to get two of these packs so I was able to pick up 40 of them and I've been grinding and the great thing about this is that you can play on the Roaming King playlist which has been granted me with the boosts on anywhere from 9 to 11,000 XP per match which usually lasts about seven and a half, eight minutes long compared to say Team Arena which can be uh, all, all the way down to possibly like 1,500 XP so keep that in mind when you're playing in the games guys because uh, definitely want to use those XP boosts the most effective way possible because it's going to be rare when these packs come around but when they do you want to spend your 
hard-earned wreck points on these packs if you want to try and get that 152. Don't forget to jump in and sell a bunch of wrecks as well. So if you don't play Warzone at all, sell all your wrecks. You can probably earn another <laughs> pack set of pack right there. Uh, if you guys don't know about it, there is an extension for Chrome, which will show you how to mass delete a lot of your wrecks from Warzone. Uh, I do have a video about this. I'll link it in the description down below. So get on that grind, everybody. But yeah, that's the entire video. Thank you so much for watching. What you guys' thoughts on the recent update in Halo 5? Uh, what are your thoughts on the 1v1 plays and some of the changes they did with it? I think they're actually really good changes, but I want to see what your comments are in the comment section down below. I do read all of them and try to reply to most of them as well. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this, and it greatly helps out the video and channel. And stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. Check out the videos on the screen right now if you miss any content from me, or if you're new, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.